Chris Hallam. I'm working at Ivy Land Presbyterian Church. I'm Eric Lang, and I'm working at Ivy Land Presbyterian Church. Ivy Land? Okay. Ivy Land is a tiny little church in the middle of a Victorian neighborhood. Um, hemmed in by houses and a wonderful, delightful community that's almost out of a Norman Rockwell painting. Um, Ivy Land is a community that has had generations of people all involved in the same church. And so you have people who grew up in the church who are singing in the choir alongside their parents. And there's this, this is the only church in the community. And so that's something that I think everybody's very proud of in this community, of, of being that spiritual home for the entire borough. Because of the size of Ivy Land, we really are involved with all areas of the church life. And I've been working as well with the community arts program and working on bringing the art program um, to the church context. So making, uh, bringing projects that the congregation can work on, whether in coffee hour or on Thursday afternoons. It's been really nice to be with a community that spans the generations because we will spend our Sunday mornings working with kids in an acolytes class before service starts and then scheduling visits to people who live in the senior community down the street a little bit. So it's a really nice blend of what church looks like and how it helps us answer the question of how we can walk alongside people of every generation as they're on their journey of faith. I have learned that God calls your entire being to ministry that it is one of those, when I accepted my call, I thought I was going to be leaving certain parts of my personality behind. And it turns out that every part has been used in ministry, that um, my gifts and my talents, e even ones that I thought were small or just trivial, have come out in their own unique way. And that is what really matters is how relationships are built. Um, and. It's really been a pleasure to um, be able to learn a little bit of both, but really understanding that it's the connections of knowing people week in, week out, um, that truly develops what it means to be a pastor. Um, uh, the best part of the incubator program was the community discussion that we had. There was one particular day where we sat down and talked about our struggles and our joys. And it was so wonderful to hear that I am not alone in a lot of my struggles and that we share many of the hopes and that we are able to bounce ideas off of each other. That um, community think tank has been absolutely wonderful. Um, it's been really helpful to know kind of how the Presbytery tries to work with congregations and the approach they take, the philosophy of engaging churches to understand what are the gifts and the strengths that every church has that we can lift up and bring to light. Um, it's been really helpful to know when I am finished with the internship, how I can start to really be a good member of a Presbyteria and draw upon all the gifts and talents that come with working in a church. Uh, the Philadelphia Incubator Program is great for getting to know people in a, or people in the Presbytery in a wider co context. That um, developing your network of contacts and network of relationships from the ground of your education, knowing that there's people out there that you can reach out to that have experience, that have run programs before, but also can um, leap you into the next stage of your ministry, whether that's...